guys. Oh my god. Guys, I look weird. I don't know what it is. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a new video. That was like really stupid. I'm doing a new video today and uh sorry guys, that's my septum. Sometimes it gets stuck and I look really weird today as well. Am I too low? Am I too high? I'm using a new um fucking hell, why would it go up? I'm using a new, um, what do you call it? Tripod. Um, and I've had my hair done, guys. What do you think of it? It's literally just looked weird today because I curled it yesterday. And now it's like straight, so it looks weird. I kind of look like really like edgy today. I don't know. I love the look. Like the, I just love the blonde eyebrows. The sun's doing my head in. Um... I like my hair like that. I should just type that. Guys, I'm really like all over the place today. So I have to apologise. Um, how is everyone? Today I am going to do a Q and a uh, I feel really muddy. I don't know. What, I look weird. Something's not right. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Okay, so I'm doing a QA and a today, guys. Because it's been a really long that is annoying so i'm doing a q a today guys and i'm really excited because my hair looks like two different colors it's because i've well i haven't toned it i had it, had it toned yesterday and it kind of looks like two different colors because i think she left the toner in a bit too much q a guys are you excited for my q a i haven't done my q a in ages and you've got some a lot uh, a lot of questions for me so I want to answer them and I want to be quite, you know, open and frank with you and stuff like that. So how have they all been, first of all? I've been going through, um, I don't know, like my life is just like really crazy at the minute. Like not with, look at that, it's kinky. Kinky, kinky. Let me just straighten this bit. My straighteners are still on. I've just been feeling like my life has just been like just crazy. I don't know whether it's the hormones that I'm on. Um, I've just been like a psycho, basically, like really psychotic. <laughs> and it's really bad. It's like affecting a lot of my life. Um, just the way I behave, like my my pattern of thought, like my train of thought. It's, it's just a lot. Um, sorry, guys. But we're not going to make this about my fucking misfortunes of life because we've all got stuff going on with ourselves. Um, I'm just letting you know what my life has been like lately. So, yeah, I've just been a bit like all over the place. A lot of arguing, a lot of like just oh, can't seem to hold it together. Um, I have had my nails done. What do you think of my new nails? Aren't they cute? Really classy, aren't they? I really like this like alien vibe that i look like today like i don't know what it is it's some like alien shit going on i don't know what it is but i really like it it reminds me of lady gaga i'm channeling lady gaga every time i have these brows it's such a vibe it's just such a vibe hello um yeah so like everything's going out of, i don't know a lot of personal life things have gone are happening to me at the minute, you know, with my personal life. And obviously I don't like to discuss stuff like that, but I just need to sort my mental health out because it affects everything and everyone. Um 
It's so hard to do, guys. But anyway, what can we do? Anyway, eight minutes in and we haven't even started the video. So, I love you guys, first of all. I want to say thank you for um, being on my channel, staying on my channel. And just being there with me still. And, like, we are slowly climbing up on my channel. Like, it's we're slowly getting there. Um, I literally, this today is the only chance I've had to actually film a video today. And I'm not joking. I've been so busy. Also, guys, do you like my nose ring? I don't know if you can see it, but it's cute. I like it. Okay. So... What was I talking about? I don't know, but I don't really care anymore. I just want to get, like I said, thank you for the love and support on my channel. Like, you've been so sweet. Like, honestly, the amount of love and support I've had since that video has been tremendous. Like, you've been amazing. And I just think to myself, why didn't I tell you guys sooner? Like, I don't know. I just love you guys. And I feel very... It's weird because with mental health, like, you feel, like, I feel really supported with you, but you still feel really alone. So, it's like, it's like a double-edged sword, I think. But I know that with you guys, I can get through anything. And I just want to say thank you, like, for being there, um, for watching me grow. And we will get to 20,000 one day, guys. But let's just, let's just, let's just do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to get into the Q&A now. I just need to charge it because it's run out. But there's been so many questions, guys. Like, a lot of questions. So, I'm really excited to answer them all for you. And we're going to get started. I will not say who it's from because you might not want to, you know, you might not want me to, uh, to disclose that. So... Why do I keep, I hate the fact I always look in the mirror and stuff. I'm so, it's literally just so like, um, it's me, but it's, I'm very, very, um, my face is so bad. I'm very, very insecure. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I am. That's why I keep looking at myself. I have to look good. We should never do it anyway. Anyway, so, let's start this amazing video. <laughs> very slow well it was an accident though because we, we were talking for so long we just lost track of it okay he's been watching real housewives of, of beverly hills like i'm obsessed like i'm obsessed absolutely my favorite on the show right now has got to be i say kyle and Dorit and Erica. Those are my three favourites. I'm actually going to see Halloween Kills tonight. Not Kills, Halloween. I always say Kills, but it's not. It's Halloween Ends. I'm going to see Halloween Ends tonight. So I am really excited. Kyle is in that one. It's going to be the last ever one, which is gutting. Um, something's wrong with the lights, guys. I'm sorry. I just don't look right. Okay, so... Why is it going so fucking slow? Right, okay. Ten years, yeah? Ten years, is it going to stop? Wait gonna work in 10 years is that right in 10 fucking years is it seriously so slow it's very warm today i'm absolutely bobbling okay put a fan on for now Oh, 
Come on! I really like my hair tied back. Shall we do this video, guys? Because I'd love to do it today. <laughs> right. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing now. How did I get home last night? Who was I with? I can sense it now Cause I'm losing the will to live Oh, why can I go back now? Why can I rewind? Right, let's go! First question Now I will be saying these run at random Do you feel connected to Italy? What? Would you like to go there someday or have you visited to see part of your heritage in such a beautiful country? So, I lived in Italy uh, till I was eight years old. So, I have seen Italy, um, not much of Italy because my father was very um, mother um, and food entitled, didn't care about anything else. So, yeah, uh, haven't seen any of... I've seen the the, the South, because I was from the South, the su uh, Southern Italy. But that's about it, guys. I would love to see, like, real Italy, you know, like, like Rome or um, just nice places in Italy. I, I lived... I didn't do anything... wouldn't do much at all in Italy because my dad was just not a very nice person. <laughs> um, so we were just... I literally can't remember a lot of Italy. Only bad, really bad things to be fair with you. That that's what I remember. Um, there are some good memories when I went to school, but yeah, um, yeah, I have been, and it wasn't a great experience. So yeah, I mean, where I where I lived, it wasn't great because of the memories. You know, I was I was like very little, and um, I would just, my, you know, my mum did everything she could bless her, but. My dad just didn't want to do anything with me, really. So I haven't seen him since I was eight and I never will again if I can help it. So, yeah, my question is, do you have any long term goals for the future? Love your videos. <sighs> do you know what, guys? That is like, like literally like, my life. Like, I, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, That's the predicament. You know, I really wanted to do this YouTube thing, you know, full time, but. I feel like now I have another chance. Now I've told my story. I feel like maybe, you know, now I've let everything out of the bag. People can actually just really enjoy me instead of think that's something that I'm not saying to them. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I would ultimately love to do this as my full-time job. Yeah. But is it going to happen? Is it not? You never know. So I was very unhopeful before because I was very negative in like my life and coming on here, not being able to tell you how I feel, you know, being on hormones, being on, you know, going through a transition, you're, you're, you're all over the place, like with emotions, like it's not easy, like and not being able to tell you guys was a huge big like hole in my life that now I can just say, do you know what, I've told you, so it's all gravy and you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you how I feel today, I feel shit, I feel emotional, like the other day I was so emotional for no reason, like that's what it does to you, you know, you feel like, um, it's up and down, it's an up and down journey, um, that's why I've been so crazy in my videos, and like, my moods have been off whack, it's Arnica, yeah, so, you know what, life is just a fucking, you know, it's an up and down journey, and you just have to make what it is of it, you know, I've told my truth to you guys and you still love me and that means a lot to me. So, <laughs> thank you. I really like this at the minute, guys. Just in the middle. 
trying to look like a vampire. I just fucking love this look. Um, it's not for everyone, this kind of look. Some people will be like, wow, where's your eyebrows? But I have eyebrows. Did you know that? I do have eyebrows. I really do. Um, so. <laughs> My legs hurt. So like this. They really do. They really, really do. Keep saying that all the time. Uh, right, okay, so. <laughs> I'm so crazy. ADHD. Honestly, I think I have ADHD. Anyway, so next question is, yeah, so my long my my learn long term plan goals are just to be happy. I would like to do something I enjoy doing. That is what I want to do. No matter what it is. I just want to be happy doing what I want to what what I want to do. That's it, you know, and everything else will follow, I think. Um my hair looks fucking stupid like that. Just stop touching this hair. Okay, so thank you for the questions. The person that you always want that the person that you always go away with, which is always so wonderful, is it your partner? <laughs> or is it a good friend? No names, love you. Uh, a bit of both. Sometimes I go away with my friends, sometimes I go away with um a male friend. Um, but I don't want to talk about my um personal life on here because people are just crazy and they just like make up things and like I, I don't want the fucking um I don't want the drama so yeah it's a bit of both I do go out with my best friend a lot she's like my ride or die we're going to, we're going out this Saturday actually we're going um Friday actually we're going to warehouse project I absolutely love warehouse project I love like events like that I just think it's so cool um my hair is annoying me did you know that I didn't tell you that <laughs> My eyes fucking me off. Just stop. Okay, yeah. So I'm excited for that. I'm really excited. Um, I don't have many friends, guys. You know this. Like, I try to keep as less friends as possible. Because everyone's a fucking two-faced um, bitch, really. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Oh, this, I think it's French. Qual L S to Prima Pensamiento de Cada Dia. I don't know what that means, but thank you for the comment. If you had advice for your younger self, what would it be? So I would say to myself, brace yourself because it's going to be a tough ride, <laughs> basically. And don't let everything get to you. Um, stop being so sensitive. Um, I would also say just, just know that life is going to get better. People might not understand you right now, but... People will want to be your best friend in a few years to come. So just ride it out and just know that um, you're loved and, yeah, you're going to have some crazy, crazy bad, bad experiences, but you're going to find yourself and things are going to be okay, I think. Um, I think so. Yeah, it's difficult that, isn't it, saying that about you for myself? I don't know. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Life is gonna be hard, but persevere because that's the thing. That's the thing with everyone, guys. Like it's gonna be hard. Life is hard, but we need to keep fighting, keep pushing. We will get there. My hair. I'm just gonna fucking slice off. Right. Okay. So, sending love all the way from Cleveland, Ohio, in the USA. Oh my God. That is so Cleveland in in Ohio. Like, how do people know me? You know what Ohio? That is so sick. Um, have you ever thought about visiting the USA, coming for maybe a holiday or so? And if so, where would you like to visit? Um, I'd love to live in America, LA, Hollywood. Literally, would be my jam. Number one place would be America for me. I just absolutely, I'm obsessed with it. I love the culture. I love the people. I love everything. I love the food. I love the makeup. I love the fashion. Everything is like 10 times above than what we are here in, in England. Um, Sick. Just absolutely sick. Is that foundation on there? I look fat. Sorry, guys. I'm going to, I'm sorry that I'm going to do heading today, but feel awful today like, I'm, I'm not having a, the best day but i'm not gonna be fake and i'm not gonna be like faking like oh my god like 
all these teeny boppers I see on YouTube. Um, no, just be just be you. Yeah. So I what was gonna say? <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, I would love to go to Cleveland if you have if you have me. I would love to go there. Oh my god. Do you still talk to Cosmic Carry? I remember when you did a walnut salad collab. It looked so good. The walnut salad was so nice. Like, I was such a baby then, wasn't I? Like, I was like, oh my God, the salad. Um, but no, I don't speak to Cosmic Carry anymore. Um, I have nothing, no ill feeling against her. We just don't speak anymore. And I wish her the best. I saw that she's on a weight loss journey and she's looking amazing. So kudos to you um yeah people just do that don't they? they just move on you know there's just yeah people just people have got hectic lives like we've both got hectic lives so yeah that was a good part of my life um the beginning of my youtube journey i I, I did like those days i was so full of fun and like doing like, my my mukbangs and um i'm I, you know actually i wanted to say shout out i mean to shout him out because he's amazing uh, big guy appetite has actually um been commenting on my videos and showing his support so i really appreciate it he's really really sweet he's lovely i went on his live the other day and he, he, said, he said how nice i am and i really appreciate that he's really really sweet and a really nice person so i really enjoy watching his videos and i don't really watch a lot of mukbangs at all actually like, i don't I, I think i just watch him now actually um i'm just not into mukbangs i just i don't i've, I've kind of gone from like being obsessed it's just not understanding them now because i got myself like unwell on them there's no health is more important but um are you dating anyone special right now or are you a single queen love you oh god um i don't want to answer that but um i've been in a relationship for a while now which is all i'm gonna say but yeah i'm a psycho <laughs> yeah um i don't know i don't want to answer that but um yeah i hate talking about private life things but yeah I, all i'll say is i'm crazy and i have a lot to handle so yeah i'm afraid to ask what i really want to know i was wondering with being transgender what's your ultimate and end goal are you planning hoping to have permanent surgeries etc don't be scared of asking a question like that like it's it's not it's not a bad question um Obviously, with um, hormones, hormone, I would say hormones, it's, you know, I already have breast tissue, which is amazing. Um, but, yeah, I would really like some fake fucking tits. <laughs> like some massive knockers. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'd love, I'd love a big boob job, like massive boobs. But these are fine for now. You know, I'm really happy with my boobs now. So, um yeah and yeah obviously yeah you never would say no you'd always have to go you know um the end goal is always the the end goal isn't it like why not yeah so yeah if you want 30 million dollars what would you buy first or do with the money um i'd go to i'd pay off my debts i would buy a huge house in england and then i'd go to america um no i'd rent it out to some people here then I'd go to America and I would buy a house in America and live there. Literally, I would say fuck you to everyone in my life who's fucking wronged me. Literally everyone. If I had $30 million, I wouldn't even need a soul in my life any longer. Nothing. Goodbye. I'd do my own thing. Oh, please, guys, let me have $30 million. I'd love that. If you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? I would wish for happiness. Um, this is going to sound super stereotypical, but a lot of money. I'm sorry, guys. People say that life, money does not bring happiness. Okay. No, happiness, do, money doesn't bring happiness. Yeah. Happiness doesn't bring, what is it? Yeah, money, oh my God, this is what I mean, I'm so thick. Money doesn't bring happiness. Okay, I do agree with that because happiness comes from within, but everything is about money. If you have money, you have security and you kind of do, it's a different happiness to actually happiness with um, 
your health, but it makes you feel, it, may, it doesn't give you happiness, but it, it's, you're on the right path. You know, it's one less thing to worry about. And I don't care what anyone says, that is the truth. So yeah, a lot of money would suit a lot of people. Not to the extent where you kind of lose yourself and like, you, you don't know who you are and you're nasty. Just enough to get by for me would be amazing. I mean, I, yeah, that'd be so cool. And what else would I love? Um, Just stability, happiness, money, stability. Um, For me, the biggest thing in my life is comfort and feeling like I... I'm, um, I don't know, control, you know, like controlling in yourself, being stable for me, like feeling like I've got, I don't know, stability around me. That That is what the biggest thing for me is. So, yeah, let's look at the other ones. Thank you for those questions. I am going to answer all of them, you know, because I'm an open book, so I don't give a shit. Where's the other one? Right, would you consider doing ASMR videos? What healthy coping mechanisms do you do when you're feeling down that makes you feel better? Um, I don't even like, guys, I don't like ASMR videos anymore. I don't know what it is. I just don't. I don't like ASMR. I just don't. I just, something about it for me. I just... I don't know. It makes me cringe. I don't know what I used to like it. I just feel like I've completely just gone. I mean, the food noises is nice. Like I used to do it because it used to be like part of the package, you know, like mukbang and like um, ASMR. But I just could not fall asleep to that. Like I'd be hungry. Like no, I'm sorry, I just couldn't. Even like hair brushes and stuff like that. Like this one girl I saw on TikTok, and she's like eating her fucking hair brushes, like. Oh my god, no, it's not my thing. And but I do understand a lot of people like it, and there is some ASMR I can actually tolerate, but it's like it's gone now, it's like a fad, isn't it? Like mukbangs and ASMRs, they've just gone out of fashion, I feel like. I don't know. Um, what healthy coping mechanisms do you do when you're feeling down that makes you feel better? By the way, guys, it's nearly been a year since I did my last mukbang. Can you believe that? Like 10 months, I think it's been now. I feel like doing one, just like one anniversary one or something. I don't know. Let me know. I don't know. I really don't want to, though. I do know that a lot of you watch me. And like someone said the other day that my channel started off being a mukbang channel. And that's how people um, enjoyed my content. Because I always have these moans about, why am, I, why is my channel not getting anywhere? And it's, you know, I do want to give some content to people that, you know, I do enjoy my mukbangs but then again i don't want to i mean i could do like a healthy one i don't know like a salad but who wants to watch someone watch, eat a salad i don't know fat knows have you considered story times telling us past experiences yeah i do like story times but then again it's how do you know that these story times are even real like half the time people just fucking lie <laughs> half of them are just made up i think i think some of them just made them up how do you know if it's real or not i could literally say the time that i rode in a fucking pig like you don't know so it's bullshit really um please forgive me if i don't phrase these questions properly i mean no disrespect what age did you realize you were actually female i like that you said that a female did you always know de definitively or was it a gradual awareness? What did you open up to first? Many thanks for allowing our questions. It's okay. So, um, what age? So, obviously, when you... I first came out as gay when I was, like, I think it was like 18 or 19. And I didn't know I was I was trans. No, I didn't. I was just very feminine. I was a very feminine boy. Um, and there was a, there was a guy in my life that... He kind of, you know, when you meet the first kind of like person that you like fall in love with, and do you need that person that's such a pinnacle part of your life? I won't say who he is, obviously, but he kind of helped me like be me and like 
I don't know, like, I have a lot of good memories from those years, like 20, 2010, 2011. How life has changed, like, how, how much I've changed as a person, it's crazy. But I remember, like, getting with him, like, the first time, I was just, oh my god, because I'd fancied him for so long, it was just heaven like seeing him was just the best i was obs not obsessed but i just you know you just look at someone like that's already come out and he's like loving life and you wish that you could be that um but then i did come out i remember and then i just got nothing but amazing love and affection from everyone it was so good it's such a good time in my life um, but then obviously as I get, started to get old, I was m being more and more effeminate and it was just a gradual process, guys. It was just, I just felt like it was just a transition in my life where I just, it was just natural to me. It just, I didn't even think about it. Like, I just didn't even like, I just, all of a sudden I feel like I've just woken up and I'm this person today. Honestly, it doesn't feel like I just put thought in anything. Like the extensions came and then like my hair and I, it has... It's, it's been it's been hard though to actually admit to myself like who I really am. Yeah, it's been a lot of denial. There is a lot of denial I feel in a lot of trans people. Yeah, I do feel like it's been a gradual process, definitely. Yeah. So, oh, I like that. That question was like memory lane for me. Who did I open up to first about being gay? Uh, it was my best friend at the time and she was um she was i remember her saying to me i don't care what you are you could be a gummy bear you could be this you could be that i still love you for you i remember that i'm at risk you know and you know the person that actually made you want to come out it was such a weird situation basically so i was outside of a club and i was like 19 years old and my best friend at the time was there and I was obsessed with this guy I was talking to you about. Like, he was just... I still hold a very special place in my heart for him. You always do, don't you, with, like, your first love. Um, and I saw him come out of the club, and I was like, hey! Because I was such a fucking teeny bopper. And my friend was, like, talking to me at the time, saying, come on, there's something that you're not telling me here. You need... Come on, just tell me. And then I saw him come out of the club. And he gave me the ammunition to say to my best friend, I'm gay. Literally, I'm not joking. It was like a movie. Like, I literally saw him coming out of the club and I just thought, fuck it. I'm going to tell you. It was so... I don't think he even knows that, to be honest, to this day. But he won't be watching my videos. Um, but, yeah. So, that's how it happened. And I... Um, yeah. And then, with me being trans, it was my mum. My mum said, you know what? Go for it. My mum, yeah. Yeah. I, li I listen to my mum a lot. My mum is like my, like, God, I feel like. I don't know why. She's just very influential to me. Well, I do know why. She's amazing. Anyway, so, uh, do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? I haven't watched it. And I don't know why. I'm just I'm not into it. I've never been into, into that. Where's your favourite place to go on vacation? Um, America, guys. You know it's never going to change. America or, like, I'd love to go, like, Hawaii or, like, a Caribbean, like, island or something like that. How many countries have you been to? So I've been to Italy, Spain, Egypt, um, Cyprus, England, five. Not many, really. Um, what is your favourite TV show? I haven't got one, to be honest with you. I am watching, um, what was I watching? I just finished the Dharma. Oh my God, obsessed with that. Um, just poke myself in the eye. I, I'm watching The Watcher. I've just finished that as well. And that was shit. Like, it was good. But the storyline is so confusing. Like, it goes on and on and on and on and on. Like, I'm, I was, like, just bored at the end of it, weren't you? And then it doesn't even tell you who the Watcher is at the end. Like, how fucking pointless is that? It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. But Dharma was amazing. I'm actually watching this Netflix story. Um, Netflix... Um, uh, series about uh, the cl clown murderer. So I can't wait to watch that. Um, have you ever met a celebrity? I have met Donny Osmond because of my mum. My, my mum, we were outside radio, uh, BBC, no, York. BBC of York Radio. Uh, where, 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 oh, fuck. I hate it when that happens. I always think, 
You only get two hot per click. Yeah, I was outside BBC Radio York, which is where I live in Yorkshire. And my mum is obsessed with Don Johnny Osmond. <laughs> and she said, could my child get an autograph for you? For um, Can my child get an autograph? when she, It was actually for her. I've met Johnny Osmond. I've, I'd like to say I've met Steps, but I've seen Steps um, twice. Who else have I met? Celebrity-wise, I don't think I've met anyone else. Oh, there's some Emmerdale woman that she came to our school at like um, secondary school. The one of the Dingle women, I can't remember what she's called now. Um, she was a right bitch. I thought I didn't like her. Didn't like the way she came across. Um, who else? I don't know. I don't know. Um, who is your favourite person in the whole world? No, my favourite person in the whole world. I don't think I have one. Everyone's, isn't it? Everyone's my own favourite person. Like, yeah, yeah, right. No, they're not. Um, that's so cheesy, isn't it? My hair is fucking like white and yellow. What? I would say my mum. I would say a lot of people in my life, really. My family, my sister. Um. Yeah, my grandma. Yeah, favorite. I don't really have one. They all have their own kind of like slots in my life. You often mention heading to work. Curious, what kind of work do you do? I'm guessing something in the fashion cosmetics field, since you do both so well. Really, I remember from your days as a mukbanger, you also cook very well. So, do you manage a restaurant or something to do with food? I have personal questions, but I'm worried you'd be offended. But it would be educational for those. Who of us learning about transgender? Also, curious, how long have you and your boyfriend been together and how do you meet? I love hearing how couples meet. <laughs> um, I've answered that kind of question with surgery. Um, my hair, I mean, what? What is this, really? Of course, surgery is always something I want to... I want to have, like, lots and lots and lots done. Like, my face. I want more feminization surgery. I want all sorts. But, yeah, it's not a personal question at all. Um, oh, guys, I'm fucking mental. Um, so yeah, I work at home now. I work from home. So when I did the, do those videos before, I worked in an office, and I was bullied. So yeah, I left. Um, we won't go there. Uh, but yeah, now I work from home, and I'm really happy. But yeah, I'm really happy. So yeah, and my boyfriend. So. Six years, nearly, we have been together. Um, but I'm not saying if we're together now or not, because it's my private business. But, yeah, it's been a long time. And we met on an app, like, on, I think it was Plenty of Fish. <laughs> really modern way to meet. I think that's way where people meet these days now. It's not, you're not going to meet someone in a bar, because they all after one thing. And it was a really nice, legit app. It wasn't, like, crazy. Like, it was... Yeah, that's the way people meet people these days, you know. Um, yeah. What do you do to relax? Any fall favourites this year? Candles, fragrances, makeup. Oh, God. What do I do to relax? Nothing, because I don't ever relax. I really just watch TV, listen to music. Um, I need to tidy up. My bedroom's a shithole. Like, literally, I'm so sick of looking at it. Um... Favorites. I don't really have any. I've not bought much lately. I bought this. This is cool from H and M. I really like silk shirts. I'm obsessed with silk shirts. I really am, as you can probably tell from my videos. Um, I would like to get some Bath and Body Works candles from some fall ones, but I haven't haven't got any yet. Um, I might just go get a nice bath tonight. But I find it so boring, and I don't want to like, bathe in my own like shit. Do you know what I mean? So. What do you do for work? So I do work from home and for a company, basically. And that's what I do. And then I do YouTube as well on the side. Uh, do you ever want a pet? Yes, I want a cat. Not a cat, a cat. I want a dog. I'd love a dog. Like the one that Alex has, the little mini micro Pomeranian. Oh my God, that would be sick. How cool does my, my nails look with my top, by the way? Just noticed that. Um... Do you have your driver's license? And if so, would you consider getting a car? I have not got my driving li driver's license. Can you believe it? I live, I'm 31 years old, but do you know why? 
because I live in a place where everything's local, everything's like 10 minutes away. Um, I've never really, like even my sister, she's 36, she doesn't drive. I don't understand, I just don't, I don't want the expense. And I would probably kill someone on, on, a, on, a, on a road because I, I'm so crazy, like, I'm so blonde. I don't want to like endanger people. <laughs> I would, I'd be too scared. I know, like, a dummy can actually, um, a dummy can fucking drive, but I don't want to do that. I, I, would, I have enough anxiety, like, getting out of bed. Imagine, like, driving a car. I couldn't do it. Um, what do you do after work? Oh, no, it's another one. What celebrity, so it's another person. What celebrity do you look up to? Have you ever visited Italy? Love you. Love you, too. I look up to Lady Gaga, Britney Spears. Um, like actresses like um, Meryl Streep, like those legends, the like Angelica Houston, like those amazing legends of life. Because I just think they're so inspirational and like just they've done so much in life and they give so much. I love, absolutely love. Who's the lady that plays um, Halloween Ends, the main one? I forgot her name now. I can't be forgotten her name. She's iconic. I love her. I think she's amazing. She's so real. Um, what's her name? I'm, what, I'm seeing her tonight. I'm watching the movie tonight. I don't know what she's called now. I like her. Um, what are you in a relation? Oh, sorry. Um, have you ever visited Italy? Yes, I have. Thank you. I love you too. What do you do after work? What TV shows do you like? Recent movies. When did your journey begin as a transgender woman? What were the challenges? So, my journey began, I would say, about four or five years ago. It hasn't even been that long, really. Um, but I faced a lot of challenges because the health system where I live in England is fucked, literally. The waiting list to be seen was a long time. So, in the end, I had to go private. Um, and that's very sad because you shouldn't have to pay to be your own gender. Like, you should just be a given. But obviously, since COVID and all that, it was, you know, I was way before COVID that I, I you know, I decided I want to, you know, you don't want to. You, you decide you want to honour yourself. But, um, yeah, it was just crazy, guys. Like, literally. So that's been the biggest, biggest fucking hurdle. People who are just arrogant and don't want to, like, how many doors I've had to go through to get where I am today? Like, disgusting me huge amount of doors because people just don't understand like even this day and age is such a taboo subject i mean we are getting better with it but i genuinely believe it's I'm like an elf i genuinely believe it's where you live like if i lived in london it'd be whatever i live in a very judgmental town um everyone's stuck up and knows each other's business so i'd love to move away from here really um, recent movies, as I've said about Dharma, I really like, um, I love any crime, uh, crime documentaries I'm obsessed with, um, I've just watched The Watch, I don't really watch movies, I find them really boring, my, my attention span's really short, um, I want to watch that, uh, Smile, is it called, it's, it's out, well, tonight I'm watching Halloween Ends, uh, but it's, is it Smile, it's, it's brand new, I want to watch that, because Halloween, and I've watched, I've watched Hocus Pocus too, and I thought it was crap. I don't want to say what I was. I was fell asleep through halfway through it. I didn't enjoy it at all. I don't know why. Um. Oh my god! So many questions about my relationship. If I'm in one, so I'm not. I don't want to answer that, so guys. I, I do not. It's not being rude. I just. I don't feel like. I don't know. I'm not being rude. I hope not. But um. I. Tell him, I've told him all the time, YouTube, go on YouTube. No, he's not interested. Not a public person like that. So he stays out on YouTube. And that's fine. Um, who's your type? My type is anyone who's nice and respects me and loves me. I don't have a type. Like, I used to be all about, like, the bodybuilders and, like, the image. and But they have no substance. And they literally, and they don't have... The longevity, they're just fuck boys, and I don't want that. So anyone that's decent and kind is fine for me. Anyone who was with you would be so lucky. Oh, oh thank you so much. No, they wouldn't. I'm a psychopath. No, actually, they would. I'm a nice person. 
What's your number one inspo? Oh my God, HRH collection. Sorry, but she is, I fucking love her. And you could probably tell that I do. I am literally her. I'm not really, but I love her. You and Aries, um, what's your boyfriend's zodiac sign? Oh my God, I'm Aries, but that's all I'm gonna say. Um, the longest relationship, am I in it now or not, is nearly six years. Can you believe that? Oh my God, I was 27. So tragic how life just escapes. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm an Aries, yeah, definitely an Aries. And um, the person was a Leo or is a Leo. So I've heard that Leo's and Aries cl 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 clash, clash. I don't know. Um, I am into star signs. I really am. I do. I do believe in them. But what will be will be life, isn't it? Life is just a box of chocolates, isn't it? That's what they say. So anyway, guys, that is it. I think I've answered every question that you've given me. Here. And I haven't not answered it, have I? Literally. So you can't say that I'm not myself. Um, I wonder if there's anything I have to show you that I've bought. I don't think I have. I haven't bought anything. Just clothes. The, I bought an amazing stand, but it's actually on, on me right now. Um, a phone stand. It's so cool. Let me know if you want the link for it. It's like white and it's so cool. It like stands up and down and yeah, that's what I normally do. And I bought a nose ring. I don't know if you can tell. Little mini little dinky nose ring. So guys, I'm going to go. I want to say thank you for loving me and accepting me and everything like that. And all my new subscribers, hi, welcome to the shit show that is my life. <laughs> I'm a nice person, but I'm just very fucked up. <laughs> I... I think you're all amazing, guys. And thank you for loving me and supporting me. And uh, my voice is like crackling because I've been speaking for like 40 minutes now. I love talking to you guys because you're amazing. Um, I'm now going to go tidy my bedroom because have you actually seen the state of it? It is disgusting. Really bad. Um, I need to chuck away all this shit that's in here. Like, <sighs> Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video. Um, and... Thank you for being so patient with my uploads. I really appreciate it. I, my life is like, I do I work 40 hours a week and I literally have a moment to breathe and I'm always conscious that I need to post here more, but I just haven't got the time and I, I'm going to get, get better. Um, God, that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Ooh. Anyway, guys, I love you all and I will see you in my next video.